and happy whatever day you are watching this on. Um, recently we have been talking about nutrients. Um, if you were paying attention here physically or mentally on Monday, February 16th, this first part where we talk about calories, it's just going to be a quick go through as a review. But if you weren't here, good news is I'm doing that as a quick go through for review so you can pause at any point and write things down. When I do notes, I do tend to go fairly fast. Um, just because me sitting here in awkward silence while you write things down and you sitting there in awkward silence because I'm bad at estimating how much time it takes to write something down, um, it, it doesn't usually work out terribly well. So, <laughs> I'll go fairly fast, just pause the video when you need to write. But remember, all of my quizzes, tests, etc. are open notes, so I highly recommend taking some sort of notes. So, on Monday, we talked about a calorie, and a calorie, all it is, all the gumption we put on it, all it is, is a measure of energy. Um, so a calorie with a lower KC, that lower KC is very, very important. It's how much energy it takes to increase one gram of water by one degree Celsius. So the fact that that uh, lower KC is really important, it's because we, when you look at a food label, you're not seeing the calories in lower KC. You're actually seeing what's a kilocalorie, which is a thousand of these lower KC calories. So we spell it with a capital C, um, so calorie slash a kilocalorie, um, is the one we use, how much energy it takes to increase one kilogram of water by one degree Celsius. Um, and that's it. Calories burn. Like, I know we talk about burning calories when you work out, but like literally you can light them on fire and they will burn and they will heat up the substances around them and they, it uses that energy to heat things up. And that is what is occurring. So what is a nutrient? A nutrient is a food component that nourishes the body to provide growth, maintenance, and repair. There's two big categories of nutrients that we talk about micronutrients and macronutrients. So that first one with micronutrients, there are four that we will devote time to. First one is carbohydrates. And again, the only thing we know about carbohydrates or nutrients right now is calories, that, me that measurement of energy. So carbohydrates, there are four calories, that uppercase C, so kilocalories, per gram. Proteins, once again, four calories per gram. Fat um, is super energy dense, so that's nine calories per gram. And then water, which is also a nutrient, but is sometimes forgotten because it's not one of those big three, um, but still super necessary for life, even though it contains no energy, um, zero calories per gram. The other type we've got is micronutrients, and there are two types of micronutrients. There are vitamins and there are minerals. We'll briefly talk about those, probably not get too in depth with either one. I'm going to skip that slide, that's just what you watched yesterday, hopefully. <laughs> Carbohydrates, why do we need them? So this section that we're going to talk about today is all about carbs. What are carbs? Why do we need them? What do they do? All that jazz. So if I was taking notes right now, I would make a label to this section as carbohydrates. So why do we need carbohydrates? The biggest thing is they are a major source of energy. In particular, they're a major source of fast energy. We'll talk a little bit more about simple sugars, which are the breaking points of, they're the smallest form of carbohydrates versus polysaccharides that don't really break down. But generally, if you eat something that is high in carbohydrates, you are going to have energy. Um, your body can break it down really quickly. Your body can use it very quickly as energy. Um, that's why we talk about, you know, kids have being on a sugar high. While we can sit around and debate whether or not that's a real thing, we definitely can debate that, but um, not today. There is truth that sugar will give you a quick burst of energy. Um, carbohydrates also make up 55 to 80 percent of our diet. Most of the energy we're using each day, 55 to 80 percent of that is coming from carbohydrates. 
Um, if you think, if you play a sport, you probably have been told to have like a pasta dinner before a big game or something of that sort. Because, again, that pasta has a lot of carbs in it. Breakdown for quick energy. Also, what carbohydrates do is sweeten food. Sugar. Sugar is a carbohydrate. If you look at a food label that I'm going to go grab right now so that I can reference it. I've got a box of Pop-Tarts right here. Um, if you look at a food label, anytime you see carbohydrates, you are also going to see sugars and how many sugars are in there. So this box of Pop-Tarts, um, it has 24% of your daily total carbohydrates. Um, and of that, it has 35 grams of sugar, which is 66% of the sugar you're supposed to eat every day. So, um... I love Pop-Tarts. Um, but sugar, Sweden's food, is a carb. It's also used to preserve food and tenderize food, and it can be used to ferment food. So fermentation is a way to preserve. I should have put those two next to each other. But um, tenderizing, we think of meat and how that changes the texture. We'll talk more about that when we talk about meat and properly cooking meats. So what are carbohydrates made of? They're made of three elements. If you've taken chemistry or any sort of chemistry S class, these three should look familiar. In fact, you've probably, you know, learned them in pretty early science class. Carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Um, they're important. They're necessary. Um, they're kind of building blocks for life. But that's those three elements are what carbohydrates are made of. Every carbohydrate is going to have those three elements. And as we look through our other main nutrients that we get energy from, proteins and fats, they also have a lot of these. It's just how they're put together is what makes them different. So what's an example? Um, you don't have to write this entire slide down. I'll tell you exactly what I want you written. So an example is glucose. Write glucose down. Where does glucose come from? Well, this equation here that you definitely don't have to write down or memorize, this is not a plant science class, um, is the equation for photosynthesis. This is what happens during photosynthesis. A plant takes carbon dioxide plus water, and they make glucose and oxygen. So glucose is that. So glucose, what you should write down, is what plants make during photosynthesis. If you eat a lot of fruit, there's going to be a lot of glucose in it. And again, we look at these elements, C6, so there's six carbons, 12 hydrogens, and six oxygens. Um, that goes back to what are carbohydrates made out of? Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. So there are three main types that we're going to talk about. There's kind of a fourth type, but we're going to ignore that fourth type. First one, and one that you probably will hear about the second most. Well, tied for most. Monosaccharides are one simple sugar. So a simple sugar is carbohydrates broken down to their simplest form. A disaccharide is two simple sugars. So you take two monosaccharides, they are bonded together, and they create a disaccharide. And then polysaccharides are long chains of carbohydrates, 10 or more simple sugars. So we've got mono, and remember mono means one. So monosaccharide, we've got disaccharide, again, di means two, and polysaccharide, poly means many. So what is a simple sugar? A simple sugar is just a carbohydrate that can't be broken down without changing the structure. And we'll, we'll talk more um, about those examples, but uh, tomorrow, some other day. Essentially, they are the building blocks of carbohydrates. Yeah. So that's as far as we are going today. Um, there's a couple more slides with carbohydrates, breaking down examples of monosaccharides, disaccharides, and polysaccharides. But to start with, this is what you got. Um, I hope you have a super fantabulous day. 
Um, and if you're watching this on the day that I'm uploading it, have a great weekend. If you're watching it any other day, have a great day.